How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Of course. I'm happy to. Looks nice and sunny where you are. Yes. Yeah. We've lucked out with the weather, so I can't complain right now. <laughs> nice. So let's talk your movie. What a great movie. You know, like Thank you. feel good and just, you know, all around a, a really enjoyable film. So my first question for you is how did you get involved in the film? So I first met with Shruti last summer, I think, like right before they were, you know, about to start and we had coffee, um, like on the Lower East Side. And I was just so impressed with like her vision for this and her drive to tell this story, especially like a female centered and female led story. And I mean, I, I discovered that we had like, I feel like so many mutual Shruti, someone who, someone who like literally knows everyone. And I was just like, oh, I really believe in her and her vision. And I would like be honored to be a part of this. I love the sound of this story. I love like the characters that you leave off the page. Um, yeah, and I was like, yeah, I'm so down. Well, the story is amazing. And I had said in the last interview I was doing that even though, you know, the, it's the four girls are the main leads, the secondary characters without them, there is no story. You know, so with your out your character, there is no like story. Taking you out of it completely changes the whole thing, even though you play such a small part. And a lot of that goes to the writing, but a lot of that goes to you too. And your and Sasha's chemistry, A plus for how short that that those moments are, the two of you just kill it. Absolutely kill it. So can you talk a little bit about how you two created that chemistry? Oh, thank you. First off, um, and I gotta, I gotta give all the props to Sasha. She is such an enigm enigmatic performer and just human being. I feel like you can tell just from watching. Like you are drawn to her. You want to know more about her. There's something behind the eyes where you just feel for this character and you feel invested in her story. So I feel like all of the hard, the hard work was done for me by having this fantastic. Um, scene partner to do our scenes with. And I feel like we really just, I don't know, became like such good friends on set. And she's so musical, like her like musicality and how she plays, it was just some, I was so drawn to that. And so it, she made it very, very easy to have a chemistry with, definitely. Well, I was gonna say, cause the scene where we do get to see her perform and you are sitting in the audience, you, you just see it in your face, how enthralled, but like, drawn in you are to her performance so can you talk to me through filming that part and being able to you know did it take a lot of takes to make it come to life on screen or was it just kind of no. no I mean that speaks to the professionalism of Sasha and Shruti like they really like they knew what they wanted and they got it in very few takes and so it was we were capturing like the magic of like the first time seeing the performance was captured on camera for me and so it really was like living the actual emotions and seeing um seeing this like beautiful performance it's a special talent that I didn't know that Sasha had and I truly was just like so in awe and especially like knowing that she wrote that song I mean that just added a whole nother layer layer of beauty to the cake had you heard the song prior to filming or was that also your first time hearing it no that was my first time hearing it so I was doubly impressed oh my god that's amazing Oh my gosh. So for you, what would you say was the hardest uh, scene for you to film? Oh gosh, hardest scene. Honestly, none of them. Like they were all so much fun. This cast really gelled together like a family. I feel like the hardest thing we had to encounter was the weather just because it was so hot and we were shooting in the summer and the direct sunlight, but that was really the hardest thing. Where but it was gorgeous. Film? We shot in New Jersey actually. And I gotta say, I was so blown away by the beauty of rural New Jersey I feel like so I live in New York and you always hear these um you know like oh New Jersey these stereotypes but New Jersey is I'm the biggest fan now it's so gorgeous um and we shot on these fairgrounds actually these real life fairgrounds and it just it felt like it upstate New York it felt like it could have been anywhere in the country like yeah. this lush beautiful rural environment that was really fun to to work I in never guessed it was New Jersey. I know. I gotta say, film in New Jersey. It's thriving. <laughs> so what was it like working with the female creative team? Obviously, it is a female-led film, female-led creative department. So what was that like for you? 
I can't stress enough just how wonderful it was and how much I felt listened to as an actor and just as a, a friend, a newfound friend of all of these wonderful female creatives. It really does just change the environment completely when you're on a set that's female led. And I feel like every single person advocated for making it a more just and fair and fun experience for everyone involved. And I think that speaks to like their professionalism and how they work to bring everyone in on this project and make sure that everyone was having a fantastic experience. And like, that's all that you can ask for in making a film. Now that you're done filming, do you find yourself more interested in food or not so much and leaving it to professionals? Oh, I, I do. I love being a, a bit of a home chef. I will say I, uh, and I really think like the food in the film really just like elevates it to the next like it adds that little special something to it and I always get hungry I was hungry on set when we were like making all those gorgeous like peach tarts and savory tarts and all of the fresh produce and even watching it now I'm like yeah I still get hungry it definitely it adds that little like pizzazz for me yeah well and I love that a lot of the times when you're making like a movie, they'll use filler scenes to kind of for transitions that make no sense or like, eh, you could have left that out. All of the filler scenes were of food. And I'm like, this is amazing. I want you to try everything that just showed up on screen. <laughs> it's so true. And I gotta say, I got a shout out. So one of our writers, Carrie Shaw, um, she was a professional chef for years and years. And so that's, it's largely based on her experience in kitchens. And she was the, the point person for making all of the food look so gorgeous that you see. So like, not only did she write it, but she also was the one like making the beautiful, like aesthetic foods that are served. And the reason that you're like, the taste buds are going off when you're watching this. So I got a shout out Carrie. She really, uh, killed it with that. Do you think you could ever work in a kitchen, like in a huge food industry kitchen or no? I don't think I'm cut out for it. I don't, the, my stress levels, even just watching the scenes where like Lizzie's in the kitchen and she's getting like harassed by her, some of her like coworkers. I'm like, I am not cut out for that cut for a world. So I have so much respect for those who do, but I'm like, I could not, I could not hack it. Well, I'll have to say one of my favorite scenes is obviously between you and Sasha when you guys are getting ready to drive the golf cart and you just get this look on your face when she asks you whether or not you know how to drive it. That's just like, oh, we're going to find out what happens. Uh, so I have to ask, did you have a blast filming and driving around in that golf cart? Oh my gosh, yes. An absolute blast. I want to say that scene might have been one of the last days that we were filming or that I was filming because it was once we like wrapped it up and we finished like doing donuts in the golf cart it was like this huge celebration like we couldn't believe we actually finished this movie and we had especially like knowing that I mean Carrie and Christina the writers had been working on the script for 10 years and um Shruti had been the director had been attached for the seven years and so after finally these 21 days of shooting, we were totally finished. And that was just like a big celebration and just the best time, definitely. 21 days, that's not a lot of time to bring the life a movie. Not a lot of time at all. I believe it's 21 days. I'm, I saw that on Twitter Instagram caption. So I was like, yeah. I, I trust her, but I know it's, it's wild. You see how many years that go into making a film and then how many days you're actually like physically making it and then you put it out into the world which we are yeah. so excited to do this week but there's also a trust factor to it too trusting your performers on screen to be able okay they can do this I don't need a lot to it so that's a testament also to you guys for being showing up knowing your stuff and getting it done to be able to keep it going Absolutely. I think that's a, a testament to one great directors know how to find like good people to tell the stories. And then also like great actors know how to take what's been given to them and they don't need it. Um, they don't need a lot of handholding and they can just jump right in and make a choice and trust that the director will let them know if they, you know, strong choice, wrong choice, if there's something else that the scene needs, but really trusting the actor's instincts and that the actors put the work into this, which I mean, Sasha definitely did. I definitely did. And yeah, it's a great time. Perfect. For my final question for you today, what are you hoping fans get from the movie? I'm hoping they get a big warm hug and I'm hoping they get lots of food after because it just, 
I think like watching it, it makes me want to meet up with my friends and have a really great meal. And I hope it inspires uh, reaching out to your community and bringing people together. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much for speaking with me. I'm super excited for everyone to finally see the movie. Me too, me too.